visiting uh, an old friend of our family and a horse's old vet, Ted Yoho. So um, I hope y'all enjoy the vlog and I should be able to film a little bit of him. Um, but yeah, we've known him for over 15 years, I think. So when he was our horse's vet way back when I was like seven. So it's cool to see the big people on the Capitol. <laughs> Uh, in the politics down there? Yes, sir. Unfortunately, I think it's not, it's not bad. It's not too bad. When did y'all come up? You said you're in Virginia, right? Yes, yeah, so we're in Virginia today. We're here for three more days in the morning. Back, back home uh, Saturday. That's we're cool. going to go by the end. I got a buddy of mine I went to elementary school with. It's a, I guess he's the director of the USS Wisconsin. We're going to go spend a day there. Down in Norfolk? Mm -hmm. That's cool. And then, uh, what grade are you in? <laughs> you out of school? Yes, sir. What 24 do do? now. Um, 24? I, no, I know. <laughs> um, I, uh, I actually, Put I work. Put your finger where it didn't belong, didn't you? Right. I <laughs> broke that at work. I, um, I work at Chick fil A. Do you? Mm -hmm. well, right. We have yeah. that probably three times a week up here. Mm, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> she actually applied to the post office. Uh, for where? Post she actually applied to the post office past week I am. And uh, she was going to get a driving job, and I think she has one too many tickets. So she's got to wait I'm on not a, uh, a little heavy foot, huh? Yeah, a little heavy foot. Well, actually, they want, a, like they want a clean exam, or a clean record, but, um, yeah. That's so kind of a me. high standard. I mean, that's not practical. I, man, I had so many speeding <laughs> tickets. I've gone to the driver's school five times. Me too, but me too, but I think I've done that's five a, times. That's, that's a max that, rhythm. That you cap out. And so I wasn't out a week. <laughs> got pulled over by the Gainesville Police Department on my birthday, and the guy was laughing. Oh, it's your birthday. Here's your <laughs> present. I said, oh, man. I said, you really got to give me a ticket on my birthday? He goes, right so, son. He was an older guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> he goes, he goes, it's not a big deal. You go to the driver's school. I said, hell, I've been to that thing five times. It doesn't work. <laughs> my, my wife That's went to driver's school in Dallas. <laughs> it, was, it was a young girl in class. It was on 53rd Avenue. That, that yeah. Was by, by Dave's Barbecue. That's where I went. Really? Was yeah. he pulled? You should not go. Tom Latimer was the. Uh, really? That was, oh, Latimer. I know Tom Latimer. Latimer Tire. Latimer Tire, yeah. And anyway, he. I had it two or three times. <laughs> I recognize you. But no, <laughs> she comes out of the class there, literally. She was the most. Pulls out, T bones the car, right out of class. You know, she was like, oh, that's kind of neat. I want my money back in class anymore. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Um, I. I kind of want. I do want to work at the post office. I kind of like. I want to move out Why? to Hawthorne. Well. Why do you want to work at the post office? I I don't know. I think it's it's better pay than where I'm at, but. Um, so you're gonna make know, more money. Like, is that important? That's probably well. If well, I want to, if I want to move money. out, it is. What, what you, he wants you to move out. What do you want to do with more money? Why is money important to you? Well, I want to have my own farm. Okay. So. What kind I'll move of farm? Out. Well, um, goats, I love goats, goats, and I don't have a garden big enough for, I want it way out in the woods somewhere, less people. I'm challenging, <laughs> because I can say things he can't. Oh, good. Because he's your dad. You're going to be somewhere in three to five years from now, right? Right. Where you're at today is based on decisions you made three years ago, three to five years ago. Okay. It's true. Where you're going to be three to five years if it's not dependent on where you what you decide you want to be there. So when you decide that, all you have to do is put pieces in place to get you where you want to go. And I encourage you to do that because I have seen so many people. There's a book, I think it's called The Death of a Salesman. The, the character in there is Max Loman. And it said most men die of quiet desperation because they just start going through life. And you'll probably see people at Chick-fil-A that may be a lot older than you, 30s, 40s, 50s. Mm -hmm. They're at Chick-fil-A. Not that right. Chick-fil-A is bad. Right. But when they were your age, they think, when I'm 50, I want to be working at Chick-fil-A or the guy in Publix right. bagging groceries. That's 60. Right. I got to think, when I was 24, when he was 24, did he think, man, when I get to be 60, I want to be bagging groceries at Publix? Time goes by that fast, and I see people up here on the hill, and they remind me of the death of a salesman. They just, they're kind of hollow. They don't have any ambition. They just, they show up, they go through their routine, and they go home. Yeah. And 
it starts over and over. And I have a brother. He hated his job for 35 years. And he always wanted to do something different. But he wasn't bold enough to just say, I'm leaving, I'm going out and doing this. So I encourage you to do that because it's a great life. And the post office is a great place. I think I've got it, to that place. Long-term stability, great yeah. pay time, and it's got great benefits. But don't let money be your motivating factor. Right. Because money's just pictures of dead people on paper that you trade for what's important to you. That's true. I think I've gotten to that point where I'm just like, I feel like I'm in a circle, you know, and I can't get out of here. So I, my sister, Jordan works for my sister, and so I was like, well, it's working well for her, and I have an opportunity to She's grow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So it gives an opportunity to you know, have my own place. When we were growing up, my wife and I, she's on that picture there. We got married at 19. We came from broken homes. And she was out on her own at 16. I was out on my own at 18. My house got repossessed when I was 15. Mm -hmm. Parents were divorced, and my mom moved in with three three of us. There's five, six sons. And the three younger ones moved in with her in a small apartment. And I well, I couldn't get out of there fast enough. So at 18, I bought a mobile home, moved into it. She had a co-sign, and she didn't want to, but she did. <laughs> and um, Carolyn and her sister, her sister is two years older, had been divorced, got a kid, working as a waitress. And she was on that path that she would have been a waitress like her mother was at, I think her mom was a waitress at uh, the Flaming Pit in Pompano Beach, Florida, or the Clock Restaurant. She worked both of them. Mm -hmm. and, and she worked at Publix. And uh, Carolyn's sister was on that path, and Carolyn wanted to do anything but be broke. And so they sat down and they went through the yellow pages to try to find a job or a career. Mm -hmm. and they got to the C's and they came up across court reporters. They saw attorney, oh, I don't want to go to school, and they saw banker and all that stuff. And they get to court reporting, and they're like, I know some is court reporter. They make good money. They do. And so they applied to a, a college or a, a, a private school down in Pompano. They both graduated, both made a ton of money, and because they found out what they wanted to do. Yeah. So that's where you're at, young lady. I think I'm getting there. Mygod.com, <laughs> do it. You only got one time to go around this world. I know. I feel and like I've already. You don't get many redos. <laughs> I know. I've been there six years, and I feel like I'm. That Chick Fil A. Been gone a little bit yeah. longer than that, but. I've been trying to tell that for like okay. five What's years. What's the average um, time period somebody spends at Chick Fil A? Are you in management, right? Yeah, sort of like that. You yeah. got Team leader, supervisor, supervisor. Going back and forth, yeah. Team What's your retention home. rate of an employee? How long do they normally stay? Um. Goodness, you. It's hard because it's a college town. I think a year and a half, two years, is about average right there. Yeah. Whenever they're get out of school and they're gone, so. Yeah. Archer Road's got off. It's Archer Road one. So oh, you're on the Archer, the new one? Mm -hmm. They just opened the new, new one yesterday, the new location, so. Yeah, I live right off Archer makes, Road. I'm in that southwest there in Kanapi Hall. Oh, it was busy. <laughs> I bet that is. I was escaping. And still not open on <laughs> Sunday. So Thank goodness. Awesome. That's a good way to, that's a good motivator to work there, though. <laughs> I think it is. You don't have to, you She's know. always been able to, to get, be able to get off and go to church and do church like events and off functions. Like you, been for the whole week. And she's off this whole week to, to be with us. And, well, that's neat. So, have you seen a lot of good things while you're up here? I have. I uh, We went to uh, Monticello and um, James Madison's house. I love history, so I was ecstatic yeah. about that's I've been vlogging, so I like, um, I like to vlog and stuff. So, I've been showing all those vlogging and all those places. So, See, when I was your age, I That's despise really history. I just, I just, I didn't want to be in school. I had to get to school to become a veterinarian. Yeah. And then as I got older, I really love history. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so I became a student of history. Yeah. And that's what it's one of the things that helped me to get where I'm at because right. I started reading all about all that stuff. That's, it's, it's so true. If you don't know your history, you're doomed to repeat right. it. That's true. Well, that's good. You're ahead of the curve. <laughs> I don't think I was an average kid. I remember reading books about the Constitution when I was like 12. I'm like, oh, really? I'm the, the most annoying kid <laughs> around, one of those kids. Do you have one? Um, I don't have any more. I brought it from the library. There, you have mine. Uh, I don't have to take this one. Sure. Glad to give it to you. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. Ah. Uh, That's so cool. What was your first name? Courtney. Courtney. 
common spelling. Yeah, it's been a while. I think, uh, yeah. I think the problem is I was so, ex so excited. I watched both your debates in Palatka, and I believe it also the one up in. Um, oh, you watch those? Yeah, oh, man. I watched them. <laughs> Brother, you did an awesome job. I, I said, somebody asked, the best thing he can do is just let her talk. We were so excited that you were, that you were, were, were re elected. Yeah. I was excited too. Is the day the 28th? I don't even know either. I think so. I, keep, I think so because I keep checking the post office listings to apply to different positions. So I'm like, okay, I got to check today. I haven't posted any yet. Oh Thank man, you. there's so many good places. And you know, if you go into the government, federal government, Thank you. they're right. semi quasi federal government. Right. Um, USDA, any of the government agencies. Great benefits. Mm -hmm. Usually great working conditions, right. and it pays pretty decent. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Just find out what your passion is in life. You know, if it's that farm, get it. Yeah. I've... Three to five years, I want to check on you. Okay. <laughs> Text dad and be like, okay, <laughs> what you doing now? Okay. Yeah. I I'm thankful though where I have been because they've taught me a lot of leadership skills oh, and a lot how to talk to people. Um, I love going in there because so... what do you got to say at the end of it? My pleasure. My pleasure. Oh, my word. I used to say that to people all over the place. Then I got used to it, and then I stopped doing it. <laughs> and then I got <laughs> unbroken into I don't even know. Um, but, yeah, they did. I, I've had a go around with leadership, but they've really worked well and taught us how to – taught me a lot. You know what? I think two books I read that were life-changing for me, and I think nobody offered to have me read this book until mm -hmm. I was in my mid-40s. is How to Win Friends and Influence mm -hmm. People by Dale uh, Carnegie. I've got that book. Guy gives it to me. He goes, "You should read this." I'm like, "What a jerk this guy is! Does he not know who I am? I'm Ted the Vet. I'm pretty important." <laughs> then I read it, and I'm like, "What a jerk I am!" <laughs> I'll tell you, it's... that's the Bible because yeah. everything you do, and right. I don't care if it's with goats. You know, you're gonna have to call the vet out. You're gonna have to call right. somebody, you know, for something. Right. Everything you do is gonna be relationships with people. That book is the right. Bible for that. The other book was How to Win No um, Personality Plus by Florence Littower, mm -hmm. and there's four basic personalities. Mm -hmm. There's the type A that's hard charging, you know, the bull in the china shop. Then there's the real melancholy that wants everything nice, neat, and orderly before they move and do something. Mm -hmm. Then there's the person that's just kind of confused and they don't, <laughs> can't make up their mind. And then there's the person, person that's always looking for a party. We're made up of all four of those, mm -hmm. and I didn't understand that right. until I read that book, and it helped me relate with people better. And that's something, those two books, regardless of what you do, if it's post office, if it's um, uh, Chick-fil-A, right. if it's working with your goats, it'll help you. <laughs> we love goats. Some of those goats can be honored, for sure. Goats are funny. <laughs> God, I mean, that's a funny uh, animal. I know. Have? I used to have one, huh? You had a goat. Do you have what you have now? Oh, I have a turkey, actually. Oh, you do, yeah? I have a pet turkey, yeah. She's yeah. a mess. She's about that she chases the cars like a dog does, down the road, down the fence. I ran over it. Guys, pet turkey. <laughs> Really? Uh, I went out there to treat me a cow. They had a diamond cow. She had milk fever. I treated the cow. She gets up, chewing her cud, and they're all oh, happy. No. I go to back out, and he's got these two big white turkeys. Oh, oh God. And all of a sudden, I feel a thump. And I, I take off, and I look in my rear view mirror. There's this turkey walk. Oh, no. You know how they fan their right. tail? Yeah. Well, this part was gone. <laughs> <laughs> I look. And I, I had a backup because they're out there like wanting to yell at me and I get out. The old man, he started laughing. He goes, oh, wait till my wife here. She's going to be so mad at you. And they took a picture of that damn turkey. And, sent it to me. and they, I mean, they talked about that until he died. How funny that was. You remember the day about killed my turkey? <laughs> I didn't kill it. It lived. But it's, uh, That's so great. You know what a La Mancha goat is? <clears throat> I'm not positive. They don't have ears. They just have oh. like ear holes, and they, they, they oh, look like your ears been chewed off. So I had an assistant ride with me. We're out in Latchway County, in, in the town of Latchway. And he was from New York, never been out in the country, and he wanted to be a vet. So, you know, he's riding shotgun. He's got to go open the gate. We go to the gate, and this goat run comes waddling, you know, like this. He's got no ears. He goes, what happened to that goat's ears? How come it doesn't have ears? I said, oh, my God. <laughs> there's some wild dogs that got in here. And she goes, oh, that poor goat. By, no, by the, that time, a couple more come. Up there. They got no ears. He goes, they don't have ears either. I says, 
must have been a pack of dogs that got in here. He goes, oh, these poor goats. About that time, the whole herd and the owner comes up, and none of them have ears. I says, this is amazing. I've never seen a herd where all the ears are chewed off by a dog. And so the owner goes, he goes, man, I feel bad for your goats. She goes, why? And he goes, all their ears got chewed off. <laughs> she goes, these are La Manchas, I'll have you know. She's <laughs> in your background. Just, oh, I can see he looked at me, and I'm like, I got you on that one. That's so great. It is. Love it. Anyway, I got to get to my next meeting. I know you do better. I appreciate y'all. You want to get a picture? Yeah, sure. get a picture, yes. Yeah, that'd be cool. Let me have some snap picture here. Oh, I got to go get a presentation. Uh-oh. Can I get one of y'all to take a picture for us, please? Take a picture of his desk here. Wow. I'm glad you called me when you did, and that it worked out. Yeah, I'll tell you. We were sure we were going to be able to get there. This one's this one's camera to you. Yeah. Y'all may put you in the middle. You can just do whatever. Sure. You can get here, Dan. Okay. You want to put it on your phone, too? or I guess you can I can take that. them both. Okay. I'm, Sometimes capable. <laughs> All right, so we'll do a few on here. Let's see, one, two, three. Let's see. Okay, I did a few on there. So that's our friend. Um, he's he lives right down the road from where I go to work. Actually, I don't know if you heard that or not, but um, sorry for the angle. I didn't really want to put it in his face and be kind of rude so I'm going to upload all of that information and just what he talked about on there so you guys can hear just how wise he actually is and how common sense so I hope you guys enjoy that part of the vlog <laughs>